Hi and welcome to this video where we hook our Arduino directly to Microsoft Excel so that taking a reading for our oscilloscope is as simple as plugging onto the board and pushing a button. To get this working what we need to do is uh, enable the data streamer feature which is, comes with Office 365 version of Excel. To do that we go to File, Options, Add-ins, Com, Add-ins, and then we tick the Microsoft Data Streamer for Excel option. What you'll see then is we end up with this extra Data Streamer tab here. And once we have uh, got our software on the Arduino, we can connect the device via COM port. And we need to make sure that the serial monitor is not also connected with the Arduino at the same time or things won't work. Then once we've got all of our Arduino code working, um, we can have a direct link of information flowing through once we start the data here. So on the Arduino code side of things, we can basically reuse the code we used for the oscilloscope previously with a few small tweaks. The main one is that the uh, data streamer from Microsoft Excel expects that you're using a comma for your separator between uh, different pieces of data. So what I'm gonna do here is change it so that we use a comma here and here and here. Then the other thing that uh, it, we need to do is set the board rate and the default for the Excel data streamer is 9600 board. What I found is that's quite slow and I also found if I use a fairly higher value, things didn't always seem to work properly. So what I'm gonna settle on is 38400 as that seems to work pretty well. Next, we compile and upload our code to the Arduino. And then on the Excel side of things, we can connect the device, make sure that we've set the board rate to the one that we have configured in the code, and then start inputting data from the Arduino. The Arduino oscilloscope code is set up to take 400 samples, but we're getting in the spreadsheet here only 15. So the way we adjust that so that they line up is we can come into the settings worksheet here and we just change the data rows setting here to 400. Then uh, when we flip back to the data in here and we connect up and uh, engage everything, we should get 400 coming through. There we go. What's left to do now is to hook that data feed into our oscilloscope um, worksheet that we built previously. So the simplest thing to do here is to take a copy of the existing one and we'll call this one data stream. And in this one, what we're gonna do is change the formula here so that actually we're pulling the um, this first cell, the time, is gonna come from the data in worksheet and it's gonna come from the top entry here. And similarly, the um, voltage is gonna come from the voltage one in the data in sheet. We can then uh, delete the or hide this uh, serial data bit because we don't really need it anymore. Then we're ready to test it, so we put our probing wire on a circuit and push go.